Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're learning how to install LSPDFR in the simplest way possible. Now I know a lot of people have trouble with this, so that's why I'm making this video for a general sense of uh, helping people out here. Um, I used to, I used to have trouble with it myself, but it's actually very easy. So we're gonna go. We're on the uh, LSPDFR homepage, and uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. It will be the first link you see, and uh, it will be this right here. So you just uh, click download LSPDFR 0.4.7 once you get to this page. And it should show you all the preview pictures here of uh, what they got going on. That's cool and all. You can look through that. And uh, they got what's happening in the new version all that stuff. So you, all you have to do is uh, once you get to this page, download file. And you're just going to agree to all this stuff. Let me close that out. Agree and download. And uh, you're going to see two files here um, for lspdfr.exe, and then this is the manual zip file. This is the one you're going to want. Just uh, focus on this one right here. So you're going to download that. This should work for everyone, by the way. Um, so once I download that, yeah, it should just pop up there. Just got to wait for it for a second. It might take longer in a few other computers. But um, right now I'm going to go into my GTA 5 directory. Let's go ahead and find that. Um, it's not there. Okay, let me just go here. And my GTA 5 directory is right here. However, people, like, you can go through all these steps to try to find it, but a really easy way to do it is go to GTA 5 and your Steam. I'm actually doing it for the Steam version, so if you got it somewhere else, this might work, but I can't confirm that. I'm sure it probably would, though, but like I said, don't take my word for it. And I'm going to go to Manage. Basically, all I did is I right-clicked on it, Manage, Browse Local Game Files, and then there it is. So I'm going to go back to my Google Chrome here. It's probably done, which it is. And I'm going to go here, back to my GTA 5 directory, which we just pulled up. Highlight all of this stuff, LSPDFR, plugins, licenses, all of this stuff you're going to need here. Drag and drop. Now you're going to see it has this little extracting thing, and it's going to take a few minutes to load in, and uh, that's perfectly normal. It's going to ask me in a second if I want to replace files, and I'm just going to say yes. It might not ask you that. I don't know, because uh, like I said, I already got GTA 5 in here. Actually, I don't think I said that, but, or, I mean, I, LSPDFR, so I just replaced the files um, for the sake of the video. So, uh, that's pretty much it. You have LSPDFR now. So if you wanna, if you wanna get that proven to you, I will actually prove it to you that you do have it by uh, closing out. And when you download that, you're gonna get a little file on your desktop, Rage plugin hook, and uh, that check means it's verified. So which means it should be good. I'm gonna double click on that, and it's gonna ask me, please be careful. Oh, carefully. I'm just gonna accept that. You can read through it if you want. That's perfectly fine. Um, but it's gonna make you accept that in order to actually play. So one thing with plugins, what you want to do here is a lot of people prefer load these plugins on start and they just kind of pick manually or load all plugins. But personally, I prefer it differently. I like to do don't load any plugins on startup. I like to do it myself manually when I'm in game, and I'm gonna show you what that's like in a moment here. So I'm going to put it as don't load any plugins on startup because it can save uh, when I did this before these two options, it crashed my game. So just uh, make sure to put it on do not, you know, load plugins on startup. We're going to see what it does here. Launching game via Steam, which is a good sign. And uh, this is also another good sign that it's connecting to Rockstar Games. So uh, we should be working here momentarily. Alright guys, so you see how it's saying loading story mode with Rage plugin hook? That's a really good sign right there, so um, make sure if you don't see that, then uh, you probably have an issue. And I would try it again before you start freaking out. But uh, loading story mode with Rage plugin hook is a really good sign. It should be done here soon, there we go. If I press F4, um, it's going to give me this... Essentially, it's a Rage plugin hook mod menu, almost. I, I could set set daytime to 0800 and it's then it's eight o'clock in the morning um whatever i want to do it's it's a mod menu essentially um but it also helps you it, it also um is used for loading plugins which 
I said we'd learn how to do. So how to load a plugin is you basically just type in load and uh, you can see how this is highlighted here. It's the only highlighted one. I'm just gonna press tab so it selects it and uh, then I have an EUP menu. It probably won't pop up that for you unless you added that earlier or any other mods. And uh, then I'm gonna type in LSPD first response and enter. And we're gonna let it load for a minute. It should just do this whole loading process. Don't click out of F4 while it's doing it. I mean, it's not a terrible thing, but it's just better to let it load um, and let it do what it's gonna do. You're gonna see your character pop up here. Yeah, okay, that's my LSPDFR character um, that I made. You know, if this is your first time, it might not pop up as a character. But once you see this little message here, then uh, you should be good. Oh, also ignore this little menu. This is my native trainer. I need to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, now now your LSPDFR should be working. So if I type in go to PD, that's a good teleporting option. Just click out of F4 and uh, let it load in here. And I'm at the police police uh, police station here. And I can just run in here. Uh, ignore all the uniforms that they got on. Those are part of the EUP pack. Um, I'm gonna go to my locker room and uh, I'm not on duty yet, so I'm gonna select on, go on duty. And uh, I can go to my police locker, get my outfit here. And like I said, that's with the EUP mod outfit, so um, it's gonna be a bit different than uh, the standard LSPDFR outfit. And then these are the vehicles. You could change the modifications, whatever you want to do. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to upgrade the engine, I definitely could do that. Whatever I really want to do, it's up to me. They've added some custom customization options, which is really cool. Uh, I'm not sure why I don't have a light bar, but that's all right. Uh, I'm not going to actually go on a patrol here, but um, I think there are three standard callouts, which is a robbery in progress, pursuit of armed suspects, uh, regular pursuit, I, I, correction, I guess it's four, and um, a Grand Theft Auto in progress. So those are the four callouts that you get standard. Um, so a lot of the stuff that you see with these big YouTube channels, they add extra mods in later on. So um, keep that in mind. It's not going to come with all your favorite mods and cars and stuff. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. If you didn't, you already know what to do. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I uh, post kind of um, random uh, not, not updates, but uh, how-to tutorials sometimes. So um, I guess if you don't know how to do stuff, be looking out for that. I also do uh, some Roblox content, so uh, if you like Roblox, then maybe check out my channel. Please roleplay. And yeah, that's it. Stephen out.